Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Boltex tilting tables are at the forefront of modern precast concrete production, revolutionizing the way wall panels are manufactured for residential, commercial, and industrial buildings, with a focus on efficiency, precision, and versatility. These tilting tables provide a range of features and technologies that enhance the overall production process. One of the standout features of Moltex tilting tables is their robust construction and large dimensions. The substantial size of 50 times 2.5 meters allows for the casting of sizable panels, reducing the number of joints and improving the structural integrity of the precast elements. This size advantage not only increases the productivity of the manufacturing process, but also results in more durable and aesthetically pleasing wall panels. The adjustable thickness feature is a key highlight of these tilting tables. With the ability to accommodate panel thicknesses ranging from 12 to 25 centimeters, the tables cater to a wide range of construction requirements. This adaptability ensures that Moldtex tilting tables can be used in various projects, from thin decorative panels for interior walls to thicker load-bearing panels or exterior facades. The tilting mechanism of Moltex tables is ingeniously designed to facilitate easy panel removal. The set of telescopic hydraulic cylinders, carefully selected in accordance with the table's size and load capacity, enables smooth and controlled tilting. This tilting motion reduces the time required for concrete hardening, allowing for faster production cycles and increased efficiency in the precast manufacturing process. In terms of customization, Moltex tilting tables offer a wealth of options. Depending on the type of panels to be casted, the tables can incorporate one or more sides. For industrial buildings, where standardized panel sizes are often used, a table with a fixed side and a collapsible side is commonly employed. On the other hand, projects involving residential buildings often demand more flexible solutions to accommodate varying panel sizes and shapes. The sides integrated into the tilting tables may be fixed, collapsible, or adjustable in height. Moldtech provides the option for manual or hydraulic movement, depending on the specific requirements of each project. This adaptability ensures that operators can work with ease and efficiency, regardless of the complexity of the precast panel designs. To further enhance the precision of the casting process, Moldtech incorporates flexible shuttering systems that use magnets. These shuttering systems play a critical role in shaping the precast panels and creating openings for windows and doors. Moldtech offers a diverse range of shuttering system choices, allowing clients to select the most suitable solution for their particular project, thereby optimizing the production process and minimizing material waste. For projects that demand accelerated concrete hardening, Moltex tilting tables offer the option of a finned pipe system, 
with isolation canvas for heating. This innovative system enables hot water or steam circulation to expedite the curing process. By reducing curing times, this feature allows for quicker production turnarounds, meeting tight construction schedules without compromising on the quality of the precast panels. The vibration system, integrated into the tilting tables is another crucial aspect that ensures the production of high-quality precast panels. These vibrators can be electric or pneumatic, offering options that suit different preferences and production requirements. The use of vibration helps achieve proper consolidation of the concrete mixture, minimizing the risk of air voids and ensuring uniform density throughout the precast panels. In addition to the technical features, Moldtech places a strong emphasis on the aesthetic quality of the precast panels. To achieve a smooth and visually appealing finish, Moldtech can give the casting surface of the tilting table an optimum polish, creating a mirror like effect. This meticulous attention to detail results in precast panels with an immaculate surface finish, meeting the highest standards of quality and aesthetics. Tilt-up construction, also known as tilt-up concrete construction or tilt-up building, is a modern construction method that has gained significant popularity in recent years. It is a cost-effective, time-efficient, and environmentally friendly technique used to create a wide variety of structures, ranging from commercial and industrial buildings to warehouses, distribution centers, and even some residential projects. Tilt-up construction involves casting concrete wall panels on the building site and then lifting and tilting them into position to form the walls of the structure. The tilt-up construction process typically begins with the preparation of the building's foundation. Once the foundation is ready, the next step involves constructing the wall panels on a flat surface or casting slab adjacent to the foundation. The panels are created by pouring concrete into customized forms, which are designed according to the architectural and engineering specifications of the building. The concrete used in tilt-up construction is typically a mix of cement, water, aggregates, and often additives like fly ash or admixtures to enhance strength and workability. Reinforcement bars, also known as rebar, are embedded within the concrete panels to provide structural integrity and prevent cracking. After the panels have cured to the required strength, a process that usually takes a few days, a crane is employed to lift the panels into their vertical position. The crane's lifting capacity must match the weight of the panels, which can vary significantly depending on the building's design and requirements. Once the panels are tilted into place, they are secured to the foundation with the help of connectors or bolts. Adjacent panels are then connected together, and additional reinforcements, such as steel beams and braces, may be added to ensure the stability and rigidity of the structure. One of the key advantages of tilt-up construction is its cost-effectiveness. 
By casting the concrete panels on site, it reduces the need for transporting prefabricated components to the construction site. This leads to savings in transportation costs and minimizes the environmental impact associated with long-distance transportation. Furthermore, tilt-up construction is generally faster than traditional construction methods, as the panels can be cast simultaneously while other site work is progressing. This accelerated construction timeline translates into reduced labor costs and an earlier return on investment for the building owner. Another significant advantage of tilt-up construction is its design flexibility. The concrete panels can be cast in various shapes, sizes, and textures, allowing architects and designers to create visually appealing and distinctive structures. The panels can be customized with a range of architectural finishes, including exposed aggregate, brick patterns, stucco, and even artistic designs, making it an ideal choice for buildings where aesthetics play a crucial role. Tilt-up construction is also known for its durability and resilience. Concrete is a robust material with excellent resistance to fire, moisture, and pests. This inherent strength contributes to the longevity of tilt-up buildings, reducing maintenance and repair costs over the structure's lifespan. Moreover, tilt-up construction can be an environmentally friendly choice. The use of locally sourced materials reduce transportation and lower energy consumption during the construction process can lead to a reduced carbon footprint compared to other building methods. Additionally, the thermal mass properties of concrete contribute to energy efficiency by stabilizing indoor temperatures and reducing the need for heating and cooling. Despite its numerous advantages, tilt-up construction may not be suitable for all projects. The method is most effective for projects with repetitive design elements, such as warehouses and distribution centers. For complex architectural designs or structures with unique features, other construction methods like pre-cast concrete or steel framing might be more appropriate. Upcrete is an innovative construction method that revolutionizes the process of creating pre-cast concrete elements. The term upcrete stands for concreting upwards, describing the unique approach of concreting a pre-cast concrete element in a die-cast, flush rising method. This technique combines smooth surfaces on all sides of the concrete element with efficient production in the installation position, leading to significant cost effectiveness. The process of upcrete involves filling molds from below using a concrete pump, known as injection. By adopting this method, the introduction of air into the concrete during the filling process is minimized, making it possible to work with self-compacting concrete without the need for additional mechanical compacting. This not only saves time and labor, but also ensures a more uniform and high-quality finished product. Let's take an example of how the upcrete method can be applied in modular house production. The concrete is mixed in a specialized mixing plant with the assistance of a concrete laboratory to ensure the correct mixture is achieved. Preparation of steel reinforcement. The process begins with the preparation and placement of steel reinforcement within the formwork. This reinforcement adds strength and structural integrity to the precast element. The concrete pump is connected to the formwork and self-compacting concrete, SCC, is pumped into the formwork from below. Curing of concrete. 
the precast element is allowed to cure within the formwork for approximately 8 to 10 hours, ensuring that it gains sufficient strength. Demolding. After curing, the finished room module is demolded from the formwork, revealing the smooth and flawlessly molded surfaces. Hardening and assembly. The precast element undergoes further hardening, and all necessary fittings, such as windows and doors, are installed. One of the remarkable features of Upcrete is its versatility in molding almost all surfaces of the concrete element. This means that complex and intricate designs can be achieved with ease. Only specific points in the molded geometry require escape openings for air, similar to what is found in injection molding technology for plastics and metals. This seamless and efficient process results in high-quality pre-cast concrete elements suitable for various construction applications. final assembly on site. Finally, the finished room modules are transported to the building site and assembled to create the modular house. Upcrete offers numerous advantages, including faster production cycles, reduced labor costs, and improved product quality. Its ability to mold complex shapes and its use of self-compacting concrete make it a cutting-edge solution in the field of precast concrete construction. As technology continues to advance, Upcrete is likely to play an essential role in shaping the future of the construction industry. Excavation works. Heavy machinery is used to remove soil and create a space for the foundation. Wooden formwork, known as shuttering, is installed around the perimeter of the basement's foundation. Placing reinforcement. Steel reinforcement bars, commonly known as rebar, are placed within the shuttering to strengthen the foundation slab. Pouring of foundation slab. Concrete is poured into the shuttering to form the foundation slab. The concrete is then left to cure and gain strength. finished foundation slab. After the concrete has cured, the shuttering is removed, leaving behind a solid and level foundation slab. Installation of external precast twin wall panels. Prefabricated twin wall panels, made of concrete, are lifted into place and secured to form the external walls of the basement. These precast panels offer a quicker and more efficient construction method compared to traditional on site casting. installation of internal precast walls. Similarly, precast wall panels are also installed inside the basement to create internal partitions and rooms. Installation of precast ground floor panels. Precast ground floor panels are placed on top of the foundation slab and secured to the external and internal walls. Temporary support of ground floor slab. Temporary supports are used to hold the ground floor panels in place until the structure is further reinforced. Reinforcement of ground floor slab, like the foundation slab, the ground floor slab also receives additional reinforcement to strengthen it. Concreting twin wall cavity and ground floor slab. The cavity between the external and internal twin wall panels is filled with concrete and the ground floor slab is poured.
Finished ground floor slab. Once the concrete has cured, the temporary supports are removed and the ground floor is now complete. Installation of watertight light wells. Light wells, which allow natural light into the basement, are installed and made watertight to prevent water infiltration. Sealing of vertical joints. The vertical joints between the pre-cast panels are sealed to ensure a waterproof and weather-resistant structure. Applying external bitumen tanking. External bitumen tanking is also applied to protect the basement from water ingress and to enhance its durability. Applying external insulation. External insulation is installed to improve the basement's thermal performance and energy efficiency. Fixing of drainage sheet and backfill protection. The excavated soil is used to backfill around the basement walls, securing them in place and providing additional support. The double book mold for precast sandwich panels is a sophisticated and versatile tool in the construction industry designed to meet the demands of modern building projects that require highly efficient, insulated, and aesthetically pleasing panels. Let's explore its features and advantages in more detail. Hybrid design. The double book mold combines the functionality of a tilting table and a vertical battery mold, providing a unique and efficient approach to panel production. This hybrid design optimizes the manufacturing process and enables the production of sandwich panels with excellent thermal insulation properties. Smooth finish on both sides, one of the significant advantages of the double book mold is its ability to create panels with a smooth and attractive finish on both sides. The tilting side of the mold allows for the application of decorative elements or form liners on the concrete surface, enhancing the visual appeal of the panels. This feature is especially beneficial for architectural projects that demand aesthetic excellence, insulating inner layer. Sandwich panels produced using the double book mold have an insulating layer between two concrete surfaces. This design ensures superior thermal performance, making the panel suitable for various applications, including external building walls, partition walls, and roofing systems. Easy connection of layers. The double book mold simplifies the process of connecting the concrete layer with the insulating material. Thermopins are used to establish a secure and reliable bond between the two layers, ensuring the structural integrity and longevity of the sandwich panels. Simultaneous mold preparation. The mold's unique design allows for simultaneous preparation of the vertical part of the mold while the horizontal section is curing this feature optimizes production workflow, saving time and increasing overall efficiency. Load-bearing capacity. The vertically casted section of the sandwich panel typically serves as the load-bearing element. This ensures that the panels are structurally strong and capable of supporting significant loads, making them suitable for various construction applications. Adjustable thickness. The total thickness of the sandwich panel can be adjusted according to specific project requirements. By varying the thickness and type of insulation used, 
manufacturers can customize the panels to meet the thermal and structural needs of different projects. For independently operated hydraulic systems, the double book mold is equipped with four hydraulic systems, each operated independently. This feature allows precise control over the tilting, movement, and compaction processes, ensuring consistent and high-quality panel production. Vibration system for optimum compaction. The horizontal part of the mold can incorporate a vibration system, which helps in achieving better compaction of the concrete. Proper compaction ensures a dense and uniform concrete structure, reducing the risk of voids and enhancing the durability of the panels. Extenders and telescopic supports. To further enhance versatility, the mold is equipped with extenders and telescopic supports. These features allow manufacturers to adjust the panel size in both width and height, accommodating various project specifications without the need for additional molds. The double book mold for precast sandwich panels stands as a modern and efficient solution in the construction industry. Its ability to produce insulated panels with smooth finishes on both sides, combined with adjustable thickness and load-bearing capacity, makes it a valuable tool for meeting the demands of diverse construction projects. The incorporation of advanced hydraulic systems and vibration technology ensures precise control and high-quality results, making the double book mold an essential asset for precast concrete manufacturers seeking to deliver superior products to the market. This part is about machine system for precast concrete road. In the realm of modern infrastructure development, precast concrete roads have emerged as a groundbreaking solution that offers unparalleled efficiency, durability, and sustainability. Traditional concrete road construction methods have been effective but time-consuming and labor-intensive, However, with the advent of precast technology, the construction industry has witnessed a transformative shift in the way roads are built. Precast concrete is a construction material produced by casting concrete in a reusable mold or form, usually at an off-site location. The precast elements are then transported to the construction site, where they are assembled and connected to form the desired structure, such as roads, bridges, or buildings. In the context of roads, precast concrete offers numerous advantages over conventional cast in place methods. One of the primary benefits of precast concrete roads is the significant reduction in construction time. In traditional methods, concrete must be poured and cured on site, requiring extensive coordination and scheduling. On the other hand, precast concrete elements are manufactured in a controlled environment, allowing continuous production while site preparation is underway. Once the elements are ready, they can be quickly transported and assembled drastically reducing construction time. This time efficiency is particularly crucial for minimizing disruptions to traffic and nearby communities during road projects. Moreover, Precast concrete road technology enhances overall construction quality and consistency. The controlled environment of a precast manufacturing plant ensures that stringent quality control measures can be applied throughout the production process. Skilled workers can closely monitor the concrete mixture, curing conditions, and dimensional accuracy of the precast elements, resulting in a higher level of uniformity and precision compared to on site casting. The consistent quality of precast concrete roads leads to smoother driving surfaces, reduced maintenance costs, and increased longevity of the road infrastructure. The durability of precast concrete roads is a standout feature. 
making them an excellent long-term investment for transportation authorities and governments. Precast elements are engineered to withstand heavy traffic loads, harsh weather conditions, and other environmental stresses, offering superior resistance to wear and tear. Additionally, the reinforced design of precast concrete roads enhances their load-bearing capacity, making them suitable for highways, airports, and industrial zones where heavy-duty vehicles are common. In terms of sustainability, precast concrete roads demonstrate several eco-friendly attributes. Firstly, the controlled manufacturing process optimizes the use of materials, reducing waste and minimizing the carbon footprint associated with construction. Secondly, the extended service life of precast concrete roads means fewer replacement cycles, conserving natural resources and reducing the amount of construction waste generated over time. Another significant advantage of precast concrete roads is their ease of maintenance. As these roads are built using individual precast elements, any localized damage or deterioration can be easily addressed by replacing the affected section. This targeted repair approach is more cost-effective and less disruptive than repairing traditional cast-in-place concrete roads, which might require extensive closures and reconstruction. Furthermore, precast concrete roads can be designed to incorporate various additional features, such as integrated drainage systems, embedded sensors for traffic monitoring, and even aesthetic elements like colored or textured surfaces. The versatility of precast technology allows for tailored solutions to specific project requirements, enhancing the overall functionality and appearance of the road infrastructure. Berkel, based in Sassbach, Middle Baden, Germany, is one of the leading specialists in cellar construction in the country. Since its establishment in 1957, the family-owned company has been known for its expertise in producing waterproof cellars. Berkel combines the planning and production of steel and concrete prefabricated components with the construction of basement levels across Europe. The production of wall and ceiling elements takes place in a modern and high-performance precast plant. Qualified and experienced employees, alongside state-of-the-art machinery and equipment, ensure the highest quality precision and timely execution. Walls and ceilings are produced using computer-controlled technology, ensuring precise dimensions with millimeter accuracy. Following production, steel reinforcement is automatically cut, weighed, and placed in the elements according to the structural engineer specifications. Electrical installations are laser positioned precisely where they are intended to be installed. Even the concrete pouring process is computer controlled, and vibration tables optimize the compaction of concrete, resulting in smooth surfaces, eliminating the need for costly and time-consuming plastering. After the concrete has cured, the finished wall and ceiling elements are loaded and delivered to the construction site on schedule. The experienced Berkel team on site takes charge of executing the floor slab and assembling walls and ceilings for your Berkel cellar. The wall elements are carefully measured and precisely mounted on the floor slab, secured with angled supports and brackets. Once the ceiling is installed, the reinforcement and electrical installations are promptly incorporated, providing a significant time advantage for subsequent trades. Finally, the outer walls and cellar ceiling are concreted from the outside, creating a Berkel cellar with 100% stability and water tightness.
The high-quality water and permeable concrete floor slab and outer walls, combined with tested waterproofing systems, guarantee the long-term watertightness of your cellar, backed by Burkle's 10-year warranty. To ensure a comfortable and warm basement living space, Burkle offers various thermal insulation systems, including full-fledged residential cellars. The innovative Climatex Cellar System by Burkle meets all requirements for water tightness, thermal insulation, soundproofing, and special considerations in earthquake-prone areas. Light form insulating concrete forms, ICFs, are a revolutionary building technology that combines insulation and concrete to create energy efficient and structurally robust walls. ICFs are pre assembled blocks made of expanded polystyrene, EPS foam. These blocks are stacked together to form the walls of a building. Before beginning the assembly, ensure that the concrete footing or pad is level and wide enough to accommodate the ICFs. The footing should be at least 4 inches wider than the concrete wall to provide adequate support. Corner blocks and 90-degree corners. Start by installing the compact molded corners to form 90-degree corners. These corners are assembled using zip ties and corner ties to reinforce the seam at each corner. First course, apply foam glue to the bottom of the compact corners and full blocks. Place the blocks onto the compact corners and use the tongue and groove to interlock them. Install in wall bracing to keep the form straight from corner to corner. Second course, stagger the seams by cutting a full block in half and using each half to start the next course. Apply foam glue to the top of the form, place the half blocks, and slide the compact corner onto them. Vertical bracing. Assemble the forms to a height of 4 feet and then anchor the outside vertical form braces to the form. The vertical braces are typically placed 6 to 8 feet apart along rows of spacer ties within the ICF form. The bracing system consists of adjustable 2x4 diagonal braces, which are attached to each vertical brace using 3-inch drywall screws. These braces help prevent the ICF wall from shifting during concrete placement and protect it from potential wind damage. Additionally, the braces can serve as support for a work platform providing a safe and stable surface for workers to stand on during the construction process. Bulkheads. Construct bulkheads using dimensional lumber to create door and window openings. Brace the bulkheads securely and anchor them to the concrete with screws and plastic washers. Utility line blockouts. Cut openings through the form wall for utility lines. Concrete placement. Before ordering concrete, check that all rebar is in place, the forms are braced, corners are plumb, and vertical braces are zip-tied. Order concrete with the appropriate design strength and slump, and place it in 4-foot lifts or layers.
Waterproofing and finishing. Apply a waterproofing membrane or liquid waterproofing to protect below grade projects. After concrete placement, electrical and plumbing services can be concealed within the insulation. The finished surface can be stucco, EFIS, or a variety of synthetic masonry finishes anchored to the concealed furring strips of the ICFs. Lightform ICFs offer many benefits, including superior insulation properties, reduced energy consumption, increased structural integrity, and faster construction timelines. The system's ease of assembly, compatibility with various finishes, and adaptability to different project types make it an attractive choice for builders and homeowners seeking sustainable and resilient building solutions. The fully automatic multi-layer concrete block making machine is a state-of-the-art construction equipment designed to produce high-quality concrete blocks in multiple layers. Key features and components, multi-layer production. One of the main highlights of this machine is its ability to produce multiple layers of concrete blocks simultaneously. This multi-layer production capability significantly increases the production output allowing for a higher volume of blocks to be manufactured in a shorter period. Automation System The machine is equipped with a sophisticated automation system that controls all aspects of the block production process. This automation ensures precise coordination of the various components, resulting in consistent block quality and reducing the dependency on manual labor. Hydraulic system. The hydraulic system plays a crucial role in the operation of the machine. It activates the tamper head, which exerts pressure on the concrete in the molds, ensuring proper compaction and shaping of the blocks. The hydraulic system also facilitates smooth movement of various machine components. Vibration system. The vibration system imparts high-frequency vibrations to the concrete in the molds. This helps in eliminating air voids and ensuring uniform density throughout the blocks, enhancing their strength and durability. Mold design. The machine is designed to accommodate various types and sizes of molds. This flexibility allows for the production of a wide range of concrete products, including interlocking paving stones, curb stones, blocks, and more. Conveyor system. The machine is typically integrated with a conveyor system that facilitates the transportation of the concrete mixture from the concrete mixing plant to the block making machine. This ensures a continuous supply of material for uninterrupted production. Working process, concrete mixing and feeding. The production process starts at the concrete mixing plant, where the raw materials, including cement, aggregates, water, and additives, are mixed in precise proportions to form a consistent concrete mixture. Mold loading and positioning. The molds are loaded into the machine, and the automated system ensures accurate positioning of the molds to begin the block formation process. Production of precast, pre-stressed elements on casting bed. The first step in the production process is to position the reinforcement. Reinforcement bars or mesh are laid out according to the design specifications on the casting bed. These elements provide additional strength and support to the pre-cast element. Next, the tensioning cables are laid on the casting bed. These cables will later be tensioned to induce pre-stressing, a process that helps counteract the tensile forces that the precast element might encounter during its service life. The positioning of reinforcement and cables may need to be alternated based on the design requirements and to achieve the desired pre-stressing effect.
After the reinforcement and cables are properly positioned, the active head is prepared. The active head is a crucial part of the pre-stressing system, responsible for applying tension to the cables. In preparation, the retaining rings are placed in the slackening cylinders. These rings will be used to secure the cables during the tensioning process. Next, anchor grips are inserted into the cables. The anchor grips will be used to hold the tensioned cables in place once the desired pre-stress force is achieved. The tensioning process is then performed. Tensioning is the process of applying force to the cables, inducing pre-stress within the pre-cast element. Once the cables are tensioned, the stoppers are sealed and the mold sides are positioned and anchored. Activating the anchoring systems ensures that the tension cables remain securely in place. The anchoring systems play a vital role in maintaining the desired pre-stress within the pre-cast element. Pre-cast pre-stressed elements are essential components used in various construction projects, offering numerous benefits such as enhanced strength, durability, and reduced construction time. Subsequently, the mold is filled with concrete. High-quality concrete mix is carefully poured into the mold, encapsulating the tensioned cables and reinforcement. The concrete mix is selected based on the specific requirements of the pre-cast element, considering factors such as strength, durability, and workability. After pouring the concrete, it is left to cure until it hardens sufficiently. The curing process is crucial as it allows the concrete to gain its desired strength and properties. The time required for curing may vary depending on the type of concrete used and the environmental conditions. Once the concrete has hardened sufficiently, the mold sides can be removed. Careful handling is essential at this stage to avoid damaging the pre-cast element. After the mold sides are removed, the molding surface is cleaned and a release agent is applied. The release agent prevents the fresh concrete from sticking to the mold, enabling easy removal and preparation for casting another pre-cast element. The process is then reiterated until the entire length of the casting bed is completed. Pre-cast pre-stressed elements are produced one after the other following the steps outlined above. The repetition of the process allows for efficient and continuous production, ensuring a steady supply of pre-cast elements for construction projects.